For my They Believe I Believe essay, I decided to do Chipotle. Now, what kind of got me interested about this was Chipotle is very much so, like they had the big issue with the E. coli and the other um, kind of various uh, outbreaks that occurred that shut down 43 of their locations. And so it kind of got me thinking about our class as a whole and how we definitely are talking about food and food waste, but at the same time there's things like this going on where a household name of a restaurant is kind of going out of business in the sense of they're making these mistakes and it's causing them to have to be shut down and they're not making the profit that they're used to. Now, I consulted one of my friends who works at Chipotle and I thought it'd be great to see hands-on through seeing the deliveries and cooking and selling as well as disposing. He's seeing the trash, he's seeing what's in, you know, what people throw away, he's seeing how much do people eat. So I really enjoyed kind of learning that because I think it's very important instead of just kind of going into a restaurant maybe seeing, oh wow, like these people aren't eating, you know, the food sizes are too big. So throughout this, um, speaking of food sizes, I did one, one of my articles, um, half size food portions outperform persuasion on mitigating waste. I thought this was very interesting um, because there's a lot of restaurants that do, they have big sizes of food, very big portions, and it's an issue because not everybody's going to eat that, but it's kind of that kind of um, that problem area because there's people that you know want to get a lot of food for their money, but at the same time that food's going to go to waste if they don't eat all of it, so small portions are kind of smarter sometimes. But anyway, this was a good article because in one of my questions I asked him, uh, I ask him if they do maybe have smaller portions if the bigger sizes don't sell and maybe if they cut back so they can prevent the food waste. So uh, pretty much in this um, interview I basically am trying to figure out what is Chipotle doing to kind of combat it and what are they doing now that's different from what they were doing before when they had the E. coli breakout. So one of the big uh, statistics I found was 84% of unused food was thrown away in national restaurants in 2017. This was obviously a big issue and so I wanted to see if, like I was saying earlier, the household name of this company is, I wanted to see if they were, you know, throwing away a lot and going to waste. So really, um, through questions such as, how do you cut down on food waste? They try to use most of their food waste in the entirety. Um, they definitely, when I asked about, do you separate everything so, so as that there's no um, cross-contamination due to their outbreaks before? And they have definitely put steps in place to make sure this doesn't happen again. And cleanliness is much bigger and it's much more important to them now which really should have been before, but they're definitely doing better with that now. Um, I asked if items commonly expire. This is kind of back to my discussion lead when I was curious about if, um, if the food, or basically like expiration dates, um, they're not really the best. Like there's certain food that you can have, you can have like past the expiration date, but some people don't and they just throw it away. So I was basically trying to see if they had a lot of stuff that expired and then they throw it away, so that goes to waste. So I was basically trying to see that, and he says that they, you know, for the most part, use all of their food. He says about 5% maybe is thrown away. That's a rough estimate, obviously, and it depends restaurant to restaurant, state to state. But overall, like, my hypothesis was that they must be doing something to um, combat this. And, I mean, really, they don't, they don't necessarily recycle, but that's not the only way you can do it. It's just the food you get, the food that they're getting, because it's not like they're just getting all this processed food. Like, they're getting stuff from, um, like, produce, like, fresh produce locally. And they're getting things that there was, like, time, energy, and effort put into this stuff, and 
and if it's not eaten, it's just a big waste of natural resources. So they do, um, they do use recyclable materials, which is great. And they also um, cut down on unnecessary packaging. I know that's huge in a lot of places. And some people really like that. You know, some people like a nice, you know, uh, container for their food if they're taking it to go. But it is a big issue when you think about there's X amount of people coming in that day and everyone's going to be getting those um, trays or those plates, whatever. So that's definitely an issue. But, um, but yeah, I pretty much what I found out is that they're not necessarily contributing to the waste. And this location, I'm not going to speak for all of them, but this location is doing a good job of kind of mitigating the food waste. They're not, um, they're not making it, they're not proving to the 84% of throwaway food. They're trying to better themselves. They're trying to make more of a profit. And in doing that, they're throwing away less food, which is leading to less food waste. So, I mean, that's great that they're doing that. And that's definitely something that if customers are reading this and people who are really interested in food waste mitigation, they're going to be more prone to be like, we're going to eat there because they're better for the environment versus a company who maybe is throwing away food like crazy. And, you know, they're, le they're leading more to the waste. And Chipotle is definitely saying, we're not going to do that. We're going to cut back and we're going to do a better job. So I think the answers I got were good. It kind of disproved it because at the beginning I was kind of saying how like food waste is prevalent. Chipotle must, even though they must be doing stuff, they must still be throwing away a lot of food. And I was kind of proven wrong about halfway because they are putting in steps, but they're not throwing away as much food. And so these steps are helping to mitigate that. So um, I found out that Chipotle does a pretty good job at... Um, not leading to food waste. So that's my presentation of the They Believe, I Believe essay. Thank you.